The independent report into the response of the UN forces in South Sudan, known as UNMIS, concluded that there were multiple failures of leadership when they failed to respond to requests for protection during an outbreak of violence in July. Many civilians seeking immediate help along with international aid workers were subject to violence, death, rape and torture. The report says UN forces, despite being close to the scene of such abuses, failed to respond to cries for help, even though their mandate is to use all necessary means to protect civilians. In response, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has dismissed the Kenyan head of that force, Lieutenant General Ondieki. Kenya says he's being used as a scapegoat for the systemic failures of the UN peacekeeping system. President Uhuru Kenyatta says he will now withdraw over a thousand troops from the mission. The US State Department says it's making clear they would like the Kenyan troops to stay. Uh, we certainly appreciate uh, the uh, invaluable role that Kenya has uh, played in carrying out UNMIS's uh, peacekeeping operations, uh, peacekeeping mission rather. And it's our hope that they'll continue to play uh, a role. Um, Kenyan troops also serve in several other uh, UN missions. The State Department says it will continue to discuss the importance of those troops being in South Sudan with Kenyan authorities. Aside from that, the U.S. says the independent report does shine a light on the failings in the peacekeeping system and would like to see reforms made to the multinational peacekeeping force in South Sudan and in other countries where there have been highlighted concerns. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.